absolutely shocking news has just come up because over the last few days, everyone's been wondering, is the DOJ, the SEC, the CFTC, are these bodies going to somehow start finding huge abuses, huge amounts of fraud, or somehow commingling of customer funds, all of these things that have been accused of Binance and CZ over there at the biggest exchange in the world, Binance. Now, if this is true and they were doing FTX-like things with customer funds, then that's something that we should all know about, that we all need to know about. However, these accusations as of today have been rejected by a court here in the United States. In fact, they went so far as to say that there is not only no evidence, but there is absolutely no evidence. And this is directly quoting the court filing by the judge in the current matter of the SEC versus Binance. Now, if you remember, the SEC had asked for a temporary freeze of assets for the Binance US platform. And the goal of this freeze was apparently to prevent the commingling or the, or the siphoning of assets out of Binance US by the Binance parent company out the, the overseas Binance. So the real question that everyone had in their minds was, is something fishy going on here? Is there another FTX brewing? Is there a house of cards here? Now, if you've been around in the crypto space for a long time, you know that Binance's reputation is sort of funds are safe. Like in general, there's a, there's a belief that, you know, Binance is a reliable place uh, to do business. Now, of course, you should never leave your funds on any exchange. That's not the point. The point is, is this a house of cards? Is this another Fugazi? Is this another fraud situation like we saw with FTX? And what we've seen today is... Yes, scrutiny, like the one that, like exactly what Binance is going through right now, can be good if you end up being a good actor. Now, I'm not saying what I think the outcome of this will be. I certainly hope for the sake of the crypto community that we don't have another FTX on our hands. That would be horrifically tragic to see that there would be another sort of gross abuse of power, fraud, manipulation, etc. However, early signs from this court document show that the case that the SEC is making against Binance seems to be extremely flimsy and that this accusation that they are commingling assets and that there has been dissipation of assets is completely false. So far, so far, again, this is an absolutely massive, massive step forward as far as understanding who effectively the actors who should be relied on and who could be relied on within the crypto space are. Now, the other allegations against CZ and Binance, we will have to see them play out. But as far as an early W to throw up on the board for the crypto community, or at least one of the biggest custodians of trust in the crypto community is a huge, huge W for the crypto world, in my opinion. What we don't want to see is that this returns tons of evidence of fraud. Now, what we do want to see is that if there is fraud, that it essentially doesn't hurt retail investors. Again, these are all things that will come out in the wash, but this is a huge case. This is probably the biggest thing to track in the entire crypto space over the coming months and probably years. As always, if you guys enjoy these quick updates, you know what to do. I'm Elio Trades, and I'll see you very soon on the next one.